What's up everybody? It's time to take a look at these £10 earphones that I found on Amazon. So this video is part of a series I'm creating called Tech Under 10, which features products that you can find online for £10 and under, which I review and show as a feature on the channel. At the time of purchase, on the 14th of January 2023, these were only £9.99, which fits under the £10 bracket, but since then they've been increased to £10.99, but have actually been at £8.32 at one point in time in January, so keep an eye out for price influxes and price reductions, price increases and that sort of thing. So before we get started with the review, let's have a read of some of the specs these are grabbed from Amazon itself so these are HD Bluetooth noise cancelling headphones which are equipped with a Bluetooth 5.0 chip earphones to provide high definition sound quality they have hi-fi technology installed which helps to isolate external noise and sound leakage they allow you to keep your ears comfortable for a long time allow ultra clear calls and provide better call quality there's also automatic pairing and touch operation so that once you paired up your headphones for the first time it will connect automatically to your device the next time you use it again you can just take out the earphones from the charging case if you put them in your ear and they will automatically be connected to your phone and paired or other bluetooth device you can use touch control on the earphones to play and pause music skip tracks and answer and hang up calls they're compatible with most bluetooth devices which include both iphone and android phones and can be used with both pc and mac computers along with tablets and bluetooth music players for the battery life you can use the charging case to charge up the earphones which takes roughly 30 minutes to charge this year and then the earphones themselves can be used for two hours of listening time. The case can also be charged for an hour and a half and have a single use of three to five hours for the earphones but as with most electronic devices I'm sure these times are estimated and whether the actual provide that sort of service with the timings and stuff I don't know only time will tell. Now on to the product it comes with a box which states a brand which I can't pronounce and a true wireless bluetooth headset note on the front. The side gives you some more information about the headphones too as does the back along with the addresses for where they're made. When you open the box you greet you with two earphones and a box that they go into for storage and charging. You also get a USB cable underneath which is included and it's actually a lightning cable rather than a USB-C or micro USB cable. There's also an instruction manual which which features both Chinese and English variants. The earphones themselves, they don't have that much weight to them at all. Um, the box that they're kept in is much heavier. The connection, however, was very easy. I just put the earphones in the charging case, opened the case, and they showed up under the Bluetooth settings. However, they showed up as an Apple device of AirPods. I connected them and they were connected fine and they showed up as this TWS device and showed the power status. So I'm getting from, I'm guessing from looking at this, it doesn't charge both the earphones together, but the left side first and then the right, just basing on the, uh, the look on the phone. In the settings for the device, I can rename the device and change the settings for the double tap on them, along with options to change the microphone. And the funny thing about this is that in the section, it shows as AirPods and actually has a serial number too, which I assume is for some valid AirPods somewhere. So they just took that serial number and planted it in the firmware of the earphone so they show up as actual AirPods. Now for the surprising part for me, we're going on at the sound quality. They don't actually sound too bad and they've got a nice middle and treble range on them and they don't seem to start even when turned up really loud. Even putting some Slipknot and other heavy metal stuff, they seem to hold their own quite well and they aren't really sounding muddy or anything like that. So even with lots of music going on, they don't sort of fade out and don't blend into each other. The bass could be a bit more stronger, I think, and a bit more boosted as you can't hear it too well and there's not much bass, but I guess for £10, you get what you pay for. If you're looking for a pair of earphones for your child or maybe something you use at the gym and you're not bothered about them breaking due to the, the small price that you pay for them, then I think these are probably worth the money for you. I've had much more expensive headphones than these and they haven't produced the kind of clarity that you get from them so I suppose that's a win but the durability is yet to be confirmed when using them over time. So I think I'm definitely going to be using these in my gym bag for when I go and use them when I'm on the treadmill. I do have some over the ear ones but after a while when I'm running for 45-50 minutes then they, they do get a bit sore so hopefully these in ear ones will be a little bit better. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it to be useful. I'll be doing some more of these videos in the near future when we buy some more cheap tech and just see actually how good it is or isn't. I'll be shooting quick review videos so people can get advice on them so you can see whether you want to buy it or not. So until next time, see ya.